What's up, everybody? It's a DTF Full Diore here with your NFL Week 4 must starts. First up, your must start at the quarterback position is Russell Wilson. Now, I know you, you probably don't want to hear about any Broncos or Bears this week in the Broncos Bears game, but someone has to win that game, and the Bears defense sucks. The Denver defense isn't all that great either. There's going to be some offense in this game, even if it doesn't look pretty. Um, the Bears have allowed seven passing touchdowns so far this season. Uh, while three have come from Patrick Mahomes, three have come from Jordan Love, and they also allowed over 300 passing yards to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield. So this is a Bears defense that struggles and is not at all supported by its offense. Uh, Russell Wilson will get some of those uh, throws out to Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, and other offensive weapons, Javante Williams as well in the passing game. And also as a rusher, ru rusher, Russell Wilson isn't what he was once back in the day, but the Bears defense isn't that great against rushing QBs either. They allowed the second most um, rushing fantasy points to quarterbacks last season, and it could be a game where Russell Wilson sees more of those rushes like when he saw 56 rushing yards in Week 2. So Russell Wilson is your must-start quarterback for this week. Even if it's not pretty, someone has to win that game. At running back, it's Jalen Warren from the Pittsburgh Steelers. As Najee Harris is back up, uh, Jalen Warren has slowly gotten more and more opportunities as the, the seasons progress throughout these three games. He's dwarfing Najee Harris' uh, target share. He's a 15.8% target share. Najee Harris is losing some of those passing game reps to Jalen Warren, who has great pass blocking and is excellent in the receiving game as well. He faces a Houston Texans defense that was league worst against the rush for fantasy purposes last season and has allowed 12 running back receptions so far this season. He ranks second among running backs in yards created per touch and is number three in juke rate this season. Jalen Warren is gaining that standalone value next to Najee Harris. So he's a guy that if you're looking for a flex play this week, Jalen Warren is your must-start guy at running back. Third, you we have Jacoby Myers of the Las Vegas Raiders. Myers, despite missing week two, has gotten a massive amount of targets. He earned 12 targets in week three after getting 10 targets in week one. That all adds up to a 31.4% target share, which signifies alpha-level opportunities in that offense, despite playing next to Devontae Adams, who is an all-pro in his own right. Obviously, you're starting Devontae Adams, but Jacoby Myers is a guy that you definitely want on your radar if you didn't have him on your radar before. He faces the Los Angeles Chargers that have allowed over 350 passing yards in two of the first three games of the season, the one exception being the Tennessee Titans, who are a run-first offense. So Jacoby Myers, he's firing in all cylinders and facing the Los Angeles Chargers this week. There's no reason to bench him. You can put him in your lineups for this week. Lastly, at tight end, we have Chargers tight end Gerald Everett. If you have Gerald Everett, you've probably considered dropping him if you haven't already. But in a tight end landscape that's pretty barren, uh, Gerald Everett is a guy that you may want to consider picking up and starting this week if you don't have one of the elite tight ends. Um, he's ramping up with six receptions last week. His role is getting bigger. And with Mike Williams now out, Gerald Everett is a big target for Justin Herbert to look for in the red zone. And he now faces the Las Vegas Raiders with the aforementioned Jacoby Myers on the other end of that field. Um, the Raiders defense has allowed a tight end touchdown in each of his last two games. And in 2022, Las Vegas also allowed the fifth most fantasy points to tight ends. Everett had 87 targets last season, and he's still a productive player when targeted. So fire him, up, fire, fire him up for this week at the tight end spot if you're needing one of those spot starts. He is a must start for sure. And that's all for your must start uh, players for NFL week four. Uh, good luck with those lineups and see you next week.